to say it. Commiserations on another game uh, without without a win. Um, talk to me, Matt. What, what are you saying, bro? Um, just another game where you couldn't score goals. You know, no, only three goals scored in your last six games. I mean, it's it's the same thing. We go, we sign players, but unfortunately, it's the same thing when you still play the same bums. You know, we look at the attack we played today. Kai Havertz, Mason Mount played as an eight. To everyone who says, oh, Mason Mount said I played as an eight. But Mason played as an eight today. We had Ziyech and Mudrik. Let's start with Mason Mount. Because that guy, I've been saying for years, guys, he's done. He's finished. He's no generational talent. He's no generational baller. It's, it's like I'm saying a script. I'm saying the same thing week in, week out. The guy's never going to perform. The guy's never going to show. He's done. Today, he was horrible. He's crying, you know, you know, pushing players over and then putting his hand up in the air. The guy is done. I, I can't sit here and say anything good about Mason Mount anymore because the guy doesn't do it. The guy made one pass to Havertz and we go, oh, oh, great pass, great pass. That should be a stock standard for players like Mount. Now, Havertz. Havertz is not a striker. We know that. But we don't really play with his 10 role position anymore now. Coming Felix in the next couple of weeks, I possibly can see maybe Havertz playing behind the striker. But Havertz is not a player to play up front. You need someone like a Bamiang. And this comes down to what Potter's doing. Potter drops players like Aubameyang and drops him out of the squad. He's our only striker. The only reason I think he's failed this season is because you've got Barnes behind him who doesn't create for him. So it comes down to Potter as well with his selection. Because I just heard before that Potter actually dropped uh, the centre-back, but better the shield from the UCL. So again, it's just Potter's decisions for me. It's just not right. Come in the starting lineup. Ziyech, everyone was saying it. Ziyech was about to leave to Paris two weeks ago and then he starts today. It just doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand that. Mudrik is a player who I understood him coming off because uh, Potter did say that he did need time to kind of join the team. He hasn't really played football since November, so I understand. But when you've got bums like Mason Mount who's dropping 0 out of 10 performances, I'm sorry, I would rather play a Mudrik because that's something new. Dasha Fafana, that kid came on, absolute baller. He was scary. He gave some threat to the attack. Something I quite have is do not do. So it's for me, Terry, this attack is the problem. Enzo Fernandez comes in here, fixes the problem, but it's still not enough because you've got a roadrunner like Gallagher next to him. People say Gallagher was one of our best players today. The only reason, and Gallagher is like a loftus chick. These guys look fancy with the little skills and shit, but they don't do anything. They're just runners. They're roadrunners. So I don't need that in my team. I need some players who can create some chances and you know, tackle. So I don't know. It's, it's, it's all over the place for me at the moment, Terry. But it's you know for me, I think Potter is a concern. I've always said Potter will never win as a Premier League. I think Potter's an interim manager at the moment because I don't see him taking charge. I don't see him making the right decisions. Even when, you know, we've got these new players, he's still not making any right decisions. It doesn't take, you know, um, oh, I just lost, I just had a brain fart there. But yeah, that, 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 that's all i got to say about that game, man. It's just the attack in Potter, man. But yeah. I, I hear you on that. There's a super chat here, David, that says, uh, tired of Mount fanboys, slap yourselves. Why start Gallagher over? Um, Car Carney, why start Ziyech with the, the PSG fiasco? Why Kai at nine always? Uh, Graham Potter exit visa. Like, the, 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 what, what do you make of it? The team selection tonight and, every, and everything else that, 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 that went on, David? If you're a long term terrorist viewer, you will know that the first guy to ever call out Mason Mount for being a bit dead was me. And I told you all, two years ago, the guy's, the guy's not it. And you all were like, nah, David, you've got you to see what he's doing. He's doing up pressing. And, and, and I was just like, okay, cool. And then last year I said, if he gets more goal contributions, I'll allow him off. I'll, I'll give him a break. He got more goal contributions. This year, he's, he, this year he's, put, he's got the performances of last year yes. with the goal contributions of his first year. And he's put them together. Just ass. He's just hot ass. Get him out. Get him gone. Uh, he's gone. I feel, he, like he's he's useless. He's absolutely useless. Conor Gallagher. How how we should have we, literally Todd Bowley. You know the, the New York Jets meme where Adams can't get in the facility. We should have done that when Everton offered forty five mil. Are we stupid? They offered forty five mil up like like just gave us the money and we said nah no 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 we'll keep Conor. And then Ziek was doing up. Oh yeah, I'm in Paris. He was doing up Emily in Paris, and now he's and now he's back here playing, starting in my team. And it's oh my god, my head. My, this whole game, I was watching, thinking all the players we've signed are good. The only bad ones are the ones who have been here for like five years, three five years, and have been dead. And they've always been dead. 
and they got, they got dug out by some Champions League run, which I still am confused as to how that's even happened. Because how, like, we went through a period where Mason Mount was actually winning player of the games in Champions League semi-finals, and Havertz is scoring goal, like, Champions League winning goals. How, how did this happen? I need to, like, Thomas Tuchel, again, I don't want to bring him up, but he did, he did God's work because he actually made those guys look half decent. Now they look dead. And and they they're dead and he can't they can't they can't play anymore. I'm sorry, they can't play anymore. You've got you've got to play Chukwa Mecca. When Andre Santos gets back from Brazil, he better be in that starting lineup. I don't care. That kid's got more goals than Mount's got in his bloody old career in the under 20 championship. I don't, he's not coming as soon as he's back, he's going in. Because Enzo Fernandez came in today, one training session. You know, I don't even know if he's trained, but he was better than that. He showed them guys levels. He showed them levels. Baddy is shield. All these players we signed, Badia Shield, levels. When Madweke, when he came on, levels. The only player who looked a bit shaky today was Madweke. And that's because Mount kept operating in his in his in his area. You go if you go look at the first half and you look at the average positions, Mount and Mudrick are next to each other. Every time we somehow managed to do up interlinking play and create space on the right, Mount is there. Bro, Mudrick runs at like 70 kilometers an hour. Like, why are you there? Why, why, why are you there? Like, go, go and do up interlink like you should do as a midfielder. That's what you should be doing. Ah, oh, and the only thing is, is that I'm actually, I'm actually happy in terms of I can see what the squad is progressing to, but there are just enemies of progress that keep playing. And Graham, you gotta drop them. Just drop them, please. That's what. That's I'm done. That's my rant over. But uh, I, I, listen, I, I, I see where you're all coming from. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that and. Yeah, like, what did you make, guys, of Mudrik being hooked off at halftime the way he was? Because you know as well as I do that publicly, especially with a certain club that wears red in North London, that was sort of music to their ears to see him struggle at home. And then for the manager to make that big call, like, do you think he at least deserved, you know, 10, 15 minutes in the second half to, you know, to, to, to try, you know, maybe a bit of a, even if he was playing poorly? Right. I could rock it up his backside, give him 10, 15 minutes to prove himself. He's an 80 million pound player. The thing is, Terry, in those situations, I look at the price tag, I look at the performance. He wasn't tracking back at all in that first half. If you notice on that right-hand side, Fulham were making us look rubbish. Like, literally, like, Tete and Willian were literally getting out the fullback and Mujic every single time. So it was tactical. It wasn't a knock. If they did come out and lie, it is the way it is, isn't it? But on the game... Like, literally, I did what everyone said. Bro, we're playing players like Gallagher and Mount and people come in the chat expecting anything different from that performance. We've literally been saying for weeks there's one big problem with Potter and his persistence to keep playing the same players has disappointed us for years. The similar type of profiles. I'm seeing the same kind of game pattern today I've seen the past, like, three, four weeks. A few months. Because the same players. The players who come on, who are the new signings, they bang. They play well. Even Sterling, he's obviously got a big competition now. He came on and did something. He operated, ran at the defenders, bit of interplay here and there, bit of experience. He did something more than what I've seen from... What the hell did Mount do in this game? What did he do? He's getting boring. It's actually pissing me off. Like, why is he playing? He does nothing. And and a man in the chat going, Fernandez. Fernandez did his job perfectly. If we had someone competent next to him, even like a Kovacic who doesn't even play a deep line, he would have like he would have performed even better. But he's got a cover for two people. And the mount is just like hot, like he has opportunities to turn on a half turn to play the ball in. He's slowing it down. Who remembers when he cut when he had a chance to run at the defender and it wasn't Mudrik, it was him, and he cut back and couldn't even lay it off to Ziet on the run on the right hand side. Like, what are you doing? Like, it's, we're not asking you to do too much. Do the simple stuff, innit? And he can't even do that. That's just frustrating to Chelsea fans. I can speak on behalf of all of us. We're seeing the same nonsense. It's easy to look at Potter. It's easy for rivals to say 600 million. But at the end of the day, it's the players. And if the players change and we see the same performances, I'll hold my hand with, like, you know what? Potter or the management, you haven't, like, sorted the synergy out. Maybe the profiles aren't right, whatever, whatever. But I can tell you for a fact, Terry, you swap Felix for Havertz today. You swap Carney for Mount today. Just two players. I reckon we score a goal. Fulham, were, they were good defensively, but it wasn't like we didn't create chances, even with our crap attack. Don't want to swear, innit? 
Do you know what I'm saying? So it's just frustrating. And like, the only thing I can see moving forward is he just has to trust the young players. Even if... We, he, the irony is, I'm going to say to you, ah, oh, if he plays young players, we might lose games. I think we'll win these games. I don't think him swapping out Mount, who's experienced, is going to make us not win this game today. Because mm. what did he do? What did Havertz do? Even that chance he missed, right? People are like, oh, it was close on the commentary. I was thinking, bro, like, he took his time and went with a stronger foot. Of course, someone's going to block it on the line. What do you expect? Yeah, that should that should have been, he should have, that, that should be on his right foot, round the goalie, first time, bury it. And, and, Terry, and that, 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 pit, that game, right? In the, Andrew, David, and Matt, didn't that game epitomize Chelsea Football Club this season? It sums it up. Because we've been seeing it, the same up. player starts, so it sums it up. It's just the play. The defense, what the defense for Chelsea hasn't been the problem. I don't think defense has been that much of an easy of an issue. Kulabali, yes, but like Balashil has come in, we've kept three clean sheets on the trot. Kepa hasn't really put a foot wrong. James comes in, even him half fit, he still played decent, played all right. Kukarella could do a bit better, but I think Chil was better than him anyway. Defense is fine. The midfield's gonna get better with uh, Zachariah coming back, with Angolo coming back, with Kovacic coming back. So I'm not right. It's the attack. Stop playing Havertz. I'm gonna stop running now, Terry. Go on, take it's a bit. Mate. Let, let it all let it all out. It's all good. But stop oh, playing, I'm... stop playing Havertz and start trusting in your young players like Noni. Do you know what I'm saying? Like Mudrick. He played poor, but obviously, like it happens to players in his young player or whatever. And Jao I... Felix, yeah. when he comes back, I guarantee you, Terry, who we got next? You're West Ham away. Guarantee you, you'll see a better performance. That's I, it for me. That I, is... I hear that. I mean, you guys also could end up in 11th place this weekend. If Villa beat Leicester at home and and, and Liverpool beat Wolves away, you guys will be sitting 11th in the league, which is, um, which is um, an absolute madness.